Hey guys, I'm gonna get me back here for another video, guys. Today we're opening up the Pro Platinum Elite Bundle. Cause I believe by now EA Sports has fixed this. Uh, yesterday it was broken, it was glitched, and it wasn't giving you 85 plus overall cards. It was just giving you 84 plus overall. Again, like I said, I think and hope on everything EA Sports fixed it. Well, get to find out today what EA Sports did or did not do. I was gonna open it up yesterday, but I was like, you know what? Let me just wait a day. Wait for them to fix it, and then I'll come back and I'll give it a chance. Because I'll be honest with you, and I'm just, before we get into this real fast, the only bundle I would ever open in a store is probably this bundle. And moving forward, really, until maybe like Christmas, honestly, there isn't much promo bundles I want to buy. Like, yes, it's nice that, you know, this one gives you a guaranteed 88 overall campus hero player. You don't get to choose the guy. It's a random guy. So that's around, like, 350k. The 85s go find, like, 80, 90k. So that's not bad. 390 plus, obviously, chances are you probably won't pull anything from the campus hero packs. So, uh, I guess, technically speaking, that's not the worst bundle of all time. The Legend bundle sucks. I mean... Legend cards right now, again, I don't, it's in the game, it is right here. These Legend Packs absolutely freaking suck. You can pull 5k out of these Legend Packs. Well, actually, like, yeah, literally 5k out of them every single time. And then pull a crappy Legend Topper. Like, it's not even guaranteed you're going to pull anything good out of that. So, I've been just sticking with the Platinum one just because, again, it's guaranteed coins. You're guaranteed to get 15, 80 plus overall cards here. That should be absolutely good. 81 plus, usually 81 good for 10k. So, it's at least more than 10k. You're guaranteed at least something there. Alright, first player. This guy is an 81. I was about to say, he's not anything good. I was just about to say, there's no way that guy was good. Alright, second card. Quinnian Williams is actually good. He's like a decent player. I say he's an 83. 495s. That... He goes for 200 k 85, let's go, baby. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Najee Harris. I feel like he's a really good running back, but I feel like Madden doesn't rate him that high. 82. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Next call on the list here, boys. Hold up. Oh, my gosh. Get the out of here get, please get the, out of here bro my brain thought that that was a limited time card for a second 83 okay my brain thought that was a limited time card and i don't know why i guess just because of the fact that like i wasn't like wait 85 plus that's an 85 yeah i don't know why my brain saw it was like could have got the campus hero animation i was like this is definitely limited time and it, it was not Adoy Jackson, he's an 85. I was like going through in my mind like what campus hero players are out, and I'm like, Montez, what? Okay, that wasn't the greatest three choices. They got 385s, which <clears throat> rather get more than that. I'll be honest with you, but this is also why I do like these elite platinum uh, bundles, is because of these quick sell ones. I will Lutz. I was about to say, I'm going to guess the next players. Will Lutz actually just got traded to the Broncos. He's back with Sean Payton, surprisingly enough. All right. Jake Matthews. I feel like he was really good out of college. Or maybe I'm, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people liked him out of college. Like, he was highly strapped. I think he was, like, drafted to top 15, too. All right. Taylor Decker. Ooh. Oh. Oh. 81? 80? Okay. Like I said, I, that one I was kind of confused about. Alright, next guy. Trent Brown. He's always like had a really good card in Mutt, I feel like. Okay, 80? Really? I felt like he always had a good card in Mutt. Am I crazy? Oh, this card is good. 
Devo has an 82. I I feel like that's criminal. Devo need to have a higher overall card than that. Nate Davis. I feel like 82. 81. God, it's so weird. I feel like some of these guys like had higher oval cards in the past. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's possible that they have a low oval card now. But still, Christian Dalsall, he was actually a really high styled rookie. He was the first round pick. Let's freaking go, boys. 143 games. Yes. This is why I opened up this bundle. This is why I opened up this bundle. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's why I opened up that bundle. Marcus Peters. Yeah, I was going to say no. Maybe Marcus Peters back on news with the Saints. I mean, Saints. The freaking Chiefs, maybe. But not now, Marcus Peters. No, this guy's a nobody. I mean, not a nobody. I like Deshaun Gibson, but he's he's nothing when it comes to, like, this. All right. Geno Smith. I didn't mean to back out of that one, but... Yeah, Gino's not going to be anything special. This guy's a nobody. It, you know, you're bad is when, even when I... If I don't know you at all, then you're pretty bad. Because I know at least uh, most of the players. Isaiah Simmons just got traded for a 7th round pick. Okay. I didn't know what card he had in the game. But I knew he just got traded for a 7th round pick. So I was like, there's no way it can't be that bad. Greg Zerline. I don't, is there any good base elite kickers, like high overall kickers? I guess just Justin Tucker, right? Ooh, 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 baby! Wow, this was like the best bundle of all time. Like, that's how bad bundles are nowadays, guys. We can quick sell him, right? So, in the end here, I got, what, 495 or 485s? I got 495s that... He goes for 200k? What? <sighs> yes. I would like to sell that card. Holy mother of... These cards go for... I didn't know they still go for this much. I did not know they still went for this much. That is insane. I thought these just go for like 80. Uh, yeah, these cards go for like 100K. I mean, like 80 to 100K. I guess they went up a little bit in price. Holy mother of everything. Okay. Listen. Okay. Yeah. I, I will take that. Thank you. I will have a great day. This bundle was actually the greatest bundle I've ever pulled. And I didn't realize how good the bundle was until now. First I thought this bundle was great. Look at this. This is one of the best bundles I've ever pulled. And then I just pulled that. So, hold up. I started at 44k, right? So I made 520k off of the quick sells. I made 200k here. 200k here pretty much. I'm about to make almost a million coins off this off this bundle, guys. This was so much more insane than I actually realized it was at first. That's mind numbing. Oh I GG. GG guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Um this is why I stick with this bundle. I, I refuse to go any promo bundles. If EA releases these bundles in the game, this is like the only bundle your boy goes for because guaranteed coins and sometimes you hit some really good magic pools like that and you wow. Just wow, man. Peace out.